And hopefully this next round we'll get max ammo and it'll be all good. There's only got 43 shots left of the ray gun, but I got a full full complement of grenade grenade launched pistols. So it's all good. So <clears throat> anywho, back to what I was saying. So I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Uh, I'm 46 years old. I know by gaming standards that's ancient, but you know it's all good. I have fun playing these games. I started playing on Atari 2600. My mom bought it for me in 1975, 1976. I want to say I honestly don't remember. It was one of those two years. And then she got me the Atari 5600 or 5200. Yeah, 5200. Um, I played played the hell out of that. Um, I like playing Asteroids, Defender, shit like that. Um, those games back then, the, those retro games, they were so simple, but yeah, it's so fun. You know, these games are awesome and they're fun, but yeah, it's uh, all right. We got Max Ammo. We're in decent shape now. Uh, but, you know, it's all good. Let me book out of here. Jump, jump, juke. Uh, I started really seriously gaming in 2000. Bought my first... I bought my kids their first PS, PS2. And then a friend of my son gave him an Xbox... And we played the living dog shit out of Halo 2. Uh, we'd have we'd have uh, weekend Halo parties, and I have a bunch of teenage kids come over to the house and make coffee and drink monsters and just play the shit out of Halo 2. I sucked at it. It was really it was really bad. It was embarrassing, but I had fun. You know, it was, it was a chance it was a chance for me to bond with the kid. Uh, you know, it was all good. So I had a lot of fun playing it. And it's a good game. I noticed Halo 4, for whatever reason, uh, Halo 4 used to be on Twitch all the time. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened to it, but it just went. Nobody even live streams Halo 4 anymore. So that wore off real fucking quick. We're going to go ahead and Mustang and sell it if you we're going to make the path. Make it clear path for my fat ass to get through it. But, uh, yeah, you know, like I said, it's all good. And I usually come up here and I'll try to grab a couple windows to reboard for some extra points because the Gibbs, this is what a Gib is, if you're not familiar with it, is, uh, reboard windows and shit. So I, you know, you'll see my stats. They're pretty, they're pretty sick. Uh, at least I think there are, and, I, and like I said, I played this game. I was playing, playing past tense. I played this map six to eight hours a day, seven days a week. It was literally like a second full-time job. Which I mean, I really wanted to get that the shotgun, the shotgun rank emblem. Uh, all I've got right now is the second highest emblem, which is a knife through the skull. Which is still decent, but it's not, it is not shotguns. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, I, I really wanted that shotgun rank. I didn't get it, so I deleted my, I went on Activision forum, and they said, and what happened was about three weeks ago, it said that uh, if, you're, if your shit gets corrupt, just delete your file from your system save. And I thought, well, that's kind of half-assed, whatever, but, you know, all right. So I got on today, and I reset my fucking, I deleted my game save. <laughs> so I've got no, nothing on my game save as far as on my system. Now, the leaderboards stayed the same. You know, they still show that you played and your stats aren't affected, because all my stats are still the same. But as far as resetting the save, that got the file that got corrupted, that's bye bye. So I'm hoping, hoping against hope that <clears throat> I can uh, save this and, and eventually get shotguns. And you see right there, 
you can see I've got the knife through the skull. And I don't have blue eyes because I honestly just quit. <coughs> I got to the point. <coughs> I was landing on a zombie's head. <laughs> nice. I just got to the point where I was just tired of, I felt like I was grinding. This was really fun at first, and then it just became like too much of a job. And once something becomes a job for me, I'm pretty much done with it because it's not challenging and it's not fun, and I'm just like, fuck it. So I gave it, like, I play like every other day, every three days now. It's kind of sad, but I decided, seeing that I'm going to be posting these videos of my Twisted Game Logistics <clears throat> on YouTube, I just decided that it'd be cool if I if once at least once a day play one game of zombies, try to get to round 35 or 40 or whatever as fast as I can. Just kind of doing speed runs like this, if possible. And a lot of it's luck. It just depends on you know if, if you don't die. And All right, we got insta kill. So what we're gonna do? going to Simtex this group right there. And we'll switch to a Mustang and Sally. Max Hammer, thank you very much. Appreciate that, bitch. Um, I've got monkey bombs, but if I can keep from using them, I will. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, we're at 963 kills, so you know, we're about at the ass end of this already, but we'll see. We may just take this as far as we can go and see. What I'll do is I'll probably wait till I'm just in the position where I'm thinking fiction to die and then quit, I don't know, or maybe to say screw it and in the game, I'm really not sure, it just depends. <laughs> but uh so anyway, back to the gaming systems I've played on. Uh Atari 2600, 5200, PS2, PS3 obviously, Xbox. <coughs> I didn't mind the Xbox, I didn't like the controller though. I didn't like the position the thumbsticks were in. Just didn't really care for it, so never really got into Xbox. Some of the games, and, and the real reason honestly that I really preferred the PlayStation over the Xbox, and I'm not I'm not trying to start a console war because I think it's fucking retarded, but honestly, it was the games themselves that were out for that system. You know, I mean, like, Xbox had Gears of War, <clears throat> PlayStation had God of War. I played God of War, and if I'm not mistaken, God of War 2 on the PS2. I'm not sure if God, I can't remember if God of War 2 came out on the PS2 or PS3, but I know I played God of War 1 on the PS2, and that was actually the very first game I ever played that got me addicted, and I played the dog shit out of it just because I love the storyline. Um, get off my dick, bitch. Uh, it is really a great game, great storyline, great gameplay. The combat system is excellent. Uh, Well, they didn't die, but whatever. Try to round them up here. Come on, assholes. Let's go this way. Got crawlers every fucking way. I really don't like the ray gun. The only reason I do like it is because it kills these fucking things so fast. You sound like you need a lozenge. Die. 
Uh, but yeah, I played I played the shit out of God of War, God of War Two. I didn't really care for God of War Two. Didn't really give a shit about it. Uh, God of War Three was okay. There were already had over a thousand kills, 143 headshots. So if at any time from this jun- juncture on, I decide that I'm fixing to bite the big one, I'm just going to back out of the game because I want to boost my stats a little bit and see if I can't still get those fucking shotguns. We may do it, we may not. If we don't, we don't. It's not a big deal to me. It's just an emblem, but it looks fucking cool. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like when you go into a zombie game, if you see somebody that's got shotguns, you're like, wow, that's, that's cool, you know?